क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन से इन ए कार्बन मोनोक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल द कार्बन एंड द ऑक्सीजन आइटम्स आर सेपरेटेड बाय फोर्टीन एंगस्ट्रॉम द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम ऑक्सीजन आइटम इज नो डे स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास फ्रॉम ऑक्सीजन आइटम नो डे स्टूडेंट्स इफ दिस इज द ऑक्सीजन आइटम एंड दिस इज द कार्बन आइटम द डिस्टेंस इज गिवन टू बी इक्वल टू फोर्टीन एंगस्ट्रॉम लेट द मास ऑफ द कार्बन बी ट्वेल्व and the mass of the oxygen be 16 taking the oxygen as origin we can write down the location of center of mass as 12 into 14 divided by 12 plus 16 that is mass of the carbon multiplied by the location of the carbon divided by mass of carbon plus mass of oxygen on solving it further we get 6 Angstrom. Therefore, the distance of center of mass from the oxygen atom is six angstrom, and option number three for this question is the correct answer. Now, dear students, let us proceed to question number forty-two. Question number forty-two says the linear mass density of a non-uniform rod of length l varies as lambda is equal to two x, where x is distance from one end. The distance of center of mass from this end is. Now, dear students. in the question it is given that there is a rod and from a end at a distance x the linear mass density is equal to 2x to find out the location of center of mass let us assume a small width of thickness dx at a distance of x from the end on the rod the mass of the small element dx can be written to be equal to lambda into dx that will be equal to 2 into x into dx and the location of center of mass can be calculated using the expression integration of dm x divided by integration of dm from 0 to l in both the integrations on substituting the values we write dm to be equal to 2x dx in the denominator as well 2x dx from 0 to l From zero to l, dear students, the integration in the numerator would be equal to x cube by three, while in the denominator it would be equal to x square by two. We have cancelled the common terms, and the limits are from zero to l in both the integration. The final answer, therefore, dear students, would be equal to two l by three. and as the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3 now let us proceed to the question number 43 question number 43 says two point masses of mass 2 kg and 1 kg have position vectors i cap minus 2j cap minus k cap and minus 4i cap plus 5j cap minus 2k cap respectively the position vector of center of mass is dear students we can write down the position vector of center of mass as m1 R1 vector plus M2 R2 vector by M1 plus M2. On substituting the given values, we write 2 multiplied by I cap minus 2J cap minus K cap plus 1 into minus 4I cap plus 5J cap. Minus two k cap divided by total mass that is two plus one. On solving this expression, we get minus two by three i cap plus one by three j cap minus four by three k cap. And therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question is option number. One. Now let us proceed further to the question number forty-four. Question number forty-four says that a fifty kg man is at one end of a boat of length five meter and mass forty kg floating in still water. The displacement of boat with respect to ground when he reaches the other end of boat is. Now, dear students, if a man moves a certain distance on the boat, then the boat moves in the opposite direction. 
let us assume that the displacement has a magnitude equal to x for the boat. Now dear students, since initially the center of mass was at rest and there is no external horizontal force and hence the displacement of center of mass would be 0 and we can write down that m1 multiplied by displacement of 1 plus m2 multiplied by displacement of m2 would be equal to 0. We can also write this as 50 multiplied by 5 minus x plus 40 minus x is equal to 0. Here minus x is the displacement of the boat and 5 is the displacement of the man with respect to boat. So therefore 5 minus x is the displacement of man with respect to ground and minus x is the displacement of boat with respect to ground. On solving this expression we get x to be equal to 50 into 5 divided by 50 plus 40 that is 25 by 9 meters and hence dear students the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Now dear students let us proceed to the last question of this test which is question number 45. Question number 45 says a 50 kg man stands on a 25 kg platform. He pulls the massless rope which is passing over smooth pulley and attached to the platform as shown in figure. The platform moves upward with constant velocity. The force with which person pulls the rope is. Now dear students, in this particular question the platform is moving upward with a constant velocity which means that acceleration is zero and it is a case of equilibrium. Now dear students, taking the man and the platform as the single system, we can see that two tensions act on the system, one through this string and one through this string. And in the case of equilibrium, the tension force must balance the weight of the system. Therefore, we can write that 2t should be equal to m1 plus m2 into g. That will be 50 plus 25 into g. So therefore, t would be equal to 750 by 2 that will be equal to 375 Newton and hence dear students the correct answer for this question should be option number 2. Dear students this concludes the discussion for the quick solutions of this test. I wish you all the best for your future endeavors and God bless you. Thank you for watching.